I just don't get it. Could you help me explain this? I, I just don't get it. Stations. He got in trouble with the cops the other day. I think it's his new girlfriend. This is totally what my default is. Okay, the thing horrible. is though, like, I've done this before. So beautiful. I'm gonna cry. Hey guys, it's Lizzie. Today I'm going to be reacting to an amazing hilarious TikTok about Catholic confession. Hands down the best TikTok I've ever seen. So basically this video is acting out the types of Catholics in confession. It's by Breaking the Habit, which is a Catholic YouTube channel run by a Franciscan priest named Father Casey. Father Casey is the cool, fun, relatable priest of social media who you want to be friends with. Because Father Casey is so intense, and fun. He definitely does get in some controversy online, so of course I don't support everything he's ever posted, but this TikTok is amazing. So this was posted on February 2nd. The caption says, the confessional can be a wild place. Here are the most common experiences I have celebrating the sacrament. Father, I brought a list. Do you mind if I read from that? Sure, sure, go ahead. Great, thanks. I always bring lists to confession. I always have since the beginning. I don't know how people don't write down what they're gonna confess. How do you remember it? I was waiting for that. <laughs> I always write the list on my phone on the notes section and then I delete it after I go to confession. People who bring a physical paper, do you guys know someone who does that? Maybe you have a paper shredder at home and then you get rid of it. I was late for mass, didn't say all my prayers, got distracted, had bad thoughts, cussed. Got distracted? What does that mean? Cussed, cursed. What is the difference between curse and cuss? Cursed, littered, gossip. Littered. <laughs> Shit about littering, but I've never heard that. I was disrespectful to my parents, ate meat on. Okay, I have become like this in confession, and I'm working on changing it where I'm like very mechanical and just like one, da da da, two, da da da, three, da da da, rather than giving like any details or explanation. And my last confession, I changed that and I tried to be like more emotional, but this is totally what my default is. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I have said some uncharitable things towards my coworkers. Gossip behind some people's backs. Watch some inappropriate TikToks. What does that even mean, inappropriate TikToks? Gossipy negative things? I don't know. Cheat on my wife. Ah! <laughs> I do not think adultery is funny or entertaining. But saying like such a serious mortal sin in the middle so fast. I've ate too many sweets and said some really bad words. I just feel horrible. I, that last one is such a bad habit. I guess. <laughs> Burying the lead. Okay, the thing is though, like definitely done it because it's like you're so scared and you don't want to just like say it straight out. So yeah, I put it in the middle with like a ton of things. I did that once. I've ate too many sweets and said some really bad Okay, words. what's funny too is Father Casey's facial expressions because if you're not Catholic, in confession, priests never make facial expressions. Most confession I've done is face to face. And so as you're sharing these things you are ashamed of and feel horrible about, the priest does not look at you with like judgment or like that's crazy at all. The face is just like still and just looking at you with pure grace and pure love. That's how priests are in confession. <laughs> so having him do an intense facial expression is so funny because like that would never happen. Even when it's not face to face, their mentality is just not judgmental because you're coming to God with a humble heart. So priests would never do that. Father, I feel horrible. I've committed a lot of mortal sins this week. I wasn't entirely truthful to my parents about where I went last night. I saw some bad pictures online and didn't immediately click away. I accidentally drank too much at a party the other night and received communion without fully participating in the mass. Okay, that's definitely not a sin, receiving communion without fully participating. What does that even mean? And I've talked about a lot how it's totally fine to pray to yourself or look at the church art or meditate on God because it's like relatively a new thing in Catholicism to be like, facing forward the entire time and paying attention to every word the priest says. Throughout the Middle Ages, people would walk around and pray on their own during mass. And that's why they introduced the bell 
during the consecration because that was like, hey guys, consecration's about to happen. Look forward, pay attention to the priest because people were doing their own thing. So you absolutely don't have to like perfectly pay attention. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been two days since my last confession. It's been three days since my last confession. It's been <laughs> one day. His facial expression for the second one is so funny. Hey, Father, it's me again. I was here three hours ago, but I just, I remembered something. Okay, happened. the thing is, this couldn't happen in most churches in real life because there isn't confession every day in 99% of Catholic churches. It's once a week and usually on Saturday afternoon. So it'd be hard to go to confession this often. They probably have to be like driving all over town. But I just, I remembered something I have to get. I have an entire video talking about scrupulosity. I did like an hour interview with someone who has scrupulosity. It's a symptom of OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, which is an anxiety disorder. And it's really important to go to a therapist and psychiatrist and get the proper diagnosis, go on medication. Therapy is also really important for anxiety disorders. Definitely see a professional if you experience scrupulosity because it really could just be a symptom of OCD. I've sinned against the third, the sixth, and the eighth commandments. For these and all my sins, I'm hard. <laughs> His face there. This is why he's such an entertaining, fun, cool priest on social media because his faces are so funny in thumbnails, especially. For these and all my sins, I'm hardly <laughs> sorry. Too vague. I. I'm not that bad. I feel like I'm kind of too vague, but not as much. I've been dealing with a lot of anger lately. My son has just made such oh bad decisions. Oh my goodness, I hate this one. My priest always talks about it. Decisions. He got in trouble with the cops the other day. I think it's his new girlfriend. She's got tattoos and she dresses like a floozy. I don't understand these kids. And my husband, he's been swearing a lot and drinking and he missed work. And you know my sister Rebecca? Yeah, Rebecca. I don't even think she goes to mass anymore. You should probably know that. His arms are so funny and he missed work and you know my sister Rebecca yeah Rebecca I don't even think she goes to mass anymore. and if it was face to face father Casey would just be like that's what he would do if it was face to face the tattletale okay so my priest always talks about this because he says going into confession is focusing on what you did wrong and taking responsibility so once you start sharing stories about what everyone else did wrong you're not taking responsibility. You're blaming other people for your behavior. And so telling a story of what happened is not okay. I never tell stories. All I will say is I was impatient with this person. I lied to this person. I gossiped about this person. I never, ever, ever am like, my friend did this and said this and then I did that. Like, no, take responsibility and do, and then it's gossiping. Like it's literally another sin when you're gossiping in the confessional. When you're confessing your sins, you're doing another sin. Good morning. How are you today, Father? I'm good, thank you. Good, good. Yeah, I'm <laughs> okay, good. so this next one is the funniest to me. I didn't know people did this. Good, thank you. Good, good. Yeah, I've been good too. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Father Doyle on LWTN. Did you ever watch him? LWTN? Why did he say this wrong? Living Word Television Network. Television Media Ministry, Christian Faith World Ministry Center, hosted by Reverend Dr. I'm so confused. Why is the Catholic watching the Protestant Network? He must have meant EWTN. A little oh, bit. that's great. I've read all his books. Mm -hmm. and he's been talking about the Trinity a lot lately. And mm -hmm. you know, it's got me thinking, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, if Jesus is the son and Mary mm -hmm. is the, the mother of God. Make an appointment to talk to the priest. There's literally like a line of people waiting to go to confession. There's an hour block. It's happened so many times where people don't get to go to confession because one person talks for 10 minutes. Don't be that person. <laughs> he's looking at his clock. I bet priests actually think that though. When someone's just like talking and talking and talking and talking, they're probably like a little bit stressed. Like people are not going to get to go to confession. I feel like that's a real thing where they are like, stop talking internally in their mind. Mother of God and the Holy Spirit. I just don't get it. Could you help me explain it? I just don't get it. <laughs> The Rambler. I'm never like that. If anything, I should probably talk more. Do I just say it? Please, yes. 
Um, uh, Father, I, I don't, I don't really know what to do. It's, it's been 20 years since my last confession. Oh, I, that's so sweet, coming back to the church. So many people have that beautiful experience. I bet every time that is the highlight of the priest's entire week, when someone who's been away from the church for so long finally comes back to confession. And then they can be a practicing Catholic again. And in good standing with the church, all they have to do is go to one confession. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna cry. I think priests must absolutely love when that happens. Aww, it's so cool. It's like the Bible passage about the lost son. When he finally comes back, the father who's God, says that there's more angels rejoicing in heaven when someone who leaves God comes back than someone who's always been consistent in their faith and never left Christianity. The angels are celebrating in heaven and so excited. And so, yeah, literally when someone's coming back to confession after that time, heaven is rejoicing and so happy. <laughs> the confession stereotype welcome home because people say that to converts like everyone said it to me when i became catholic but yeah people who leave the church for a while and come back it's also welcome home okay so that was my reaction to the video so of the catholic confession stereotypes i am the lister and the vague thank you so much for watching my video go check out breaking in the habit father casey's the fun relatable priest of youtube i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye